The solid feedstocks the power pallet burns don't flow like liquids in a gas or diesel generator. They can get stuck or tangled up, resulting in fuel jams where they will stop flowing through into the gas fire. Even with feedstock that's been prepared and sized correctly, sometimes the biomass will stop moving because of what's known as bridging. It's called bridging because the feedstock particles can link together and form a bridge or a dome that can hold back the material above it. If this happens, you'll need to break up the jam in order to keep your machine running. If your feedstock arbiter keeps running and not shutting off, there may be a bridge in the hopper. Sometimes just giving it a shake or pounding on the side can break up a bridge. If not, you'll need to open the hopper lid so you can stir the feedstock or poke it with your metal rod until it starts to fall into the drying bucket and the auger shuts off. The other place you can get bridging is inside the reactor itself. If the feedstock in your reactor has built a bridge, it will cause the P-ratio readout on your PCU to go up. If it gets over 60, there's probably a bridge in the reactor. You will need to open the reactor viewport to break it up. Once again, safety first. So make sure you wear your heat resistant gloves to open the sanitary clamp as the viewport will be very hot. Also remember that the gas in the reactor is poisonous and very flammable. So try to be quick. Avoid breathing any of the smoke and gas that comes out. Keep your CO alarm handy and make sure you have the maximum ventilation possible. Once you have the port open, just jam your rod or stick into the charcoal inside a few times until the bridge breaks and the feedstock falls down into the reactor. When you see the auger start to push in more feedstock, you can close the port up and tighten it down, making sure not to forget the gasket. 